So why invest in ETFs? We'll be answering that question today, as well as doing an update to our video portfolio. But first, as a disclaimer, I am not a, a financial advisor, and if you have questions relative to your specific situation, you should get with a financial advisor. So we have our overall video portfolio here that have four slices to the pie. ETFs only, a growth pie, a high dividend yield, and individual dividend picks. I've created all these pies myself, and in future videos I will definitely be showing how to create your own pies. And um, as the update, as far as the update goes for the video portfolio, we see that today it's up 51 cents, and we've gained 4 cents in dividends. So what I'm doing is small money amounts, $10 a week into an account, just to show that anybody can get started at any amount of money, and with M1 Finance, because of the fractional shares, that you're able to purchase anyone can do this and we'll go over the one day which is said is 51 cents right now as of uh, 12 16 on Wednesday and then the one week we've made a dollar 70 overall portfolio with five cents earned dividend the one month is we've gained three dollars and 58 cents on this portfolio we go for the quarter six dollars and 76 cents with 47 cents earned. Let's go back to the month and show the 18 cents earned in dividend. And then overall, of course, uh, since April, of course, and I, I explained in the last video that I did purchase a house, so I took money out of all kinds of different accounts to uh, make sure I had a, a down payment and, and so, to fix some of the things I needed to fix getting into the house, made sure I had plenty of money on hand. But uh, starting out with the $10 a week, this is this is where we're at now if we go into our ETF only portfolio or slice of the pie we see that we have VTI VNQ BNW if we go into that we see VTI for the day or we see that the ETF portfolio for the day is up nine cents for the week 52 cents no dividends for the month, 80 cents with one cent dividend. For the quarter, a dollar thirty with eight cents dividend. And we'll just go overall, just four dollars and eighty-eight cents with fifty-five cents in dividends. And that that represents a nine point five zero percent return. Uh, weighted money average is is how they do this. And uh, if we go in further to each one of our slices of this pie we see that the Vanguard total stock market ETF is up 10.32 percent overall With today's activity up 8 the V&Q which is a REIT ETF is up 7.44 percent at 57 cents and the bond ETF is up 7.67% for 58 cent gain overall. Got a one cent loss today on the bonds. And the VNQ is a two cent gain. To our question of the day of why would someone choose to invest in ETFs only? Well, I can say that there are a few reasons why one might want to do this, and uh, one of them is easy entry. Anybody can get this M1 Finance account and start it up and buy into these things. So it's it's very easy to get started. Uh, you don't need you don't need anyone else to tell you how to do it. You just click online. You go to a referral link if you like, which will be included in the bottom of this or in the description of this video. And uh, you can sign up, uh, invest your your money, and you don't have to. Uh, there's no barriers really. There's no significant barriers, I should say. Uh, a second reason is going to be that you can set it and forget it. A 
if, if we click on one of these, for example, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, it's already diversified for you. So if I, if I look into the details here, you can see that there's 3,609 holdings in this ETF. Now that I didn't have to go in and buy 3,609 stocks, but just by purchasing this share of ETF or fractional share as it were for, for what I have, um, I'm able to partake in, in the earnings of 3,609 different holdings. So and that includes the, the ups and the downs, of course, of all, of all of that. And there will be downs if you invest on, at some point. But overall, over long periods, you see that it's a steady climb. At any rate, you set that, you, you start investing in it, and you can forget it. It's easy. You don't have to manage that. Uh, the management fees here, the expense ratio, uh, takes care of the managers that are actually purchasing those, those holdings within the ETFs, and you don't have to do any work. So, like I said, it's a set it and forget it. It's managed for you. It's diversified into many different companies. You can read into it here if you like and uh, and see what this particular fund is in and you can also pick different sectors which is which I like so uh, or or different uh, if you want to diversify further which I've done real estate and then bonds uh, it's really easy to do with the ETF so you can buy you can set your, your few ETFs that you want to be involved with and forget it completely now, uh, one other reason that people might want to choose ETFs is because the, the tax headaches that you can get from selling and buying your own stocks. So you have to keep, obviously, the, the system keeps track of that. M1 Finance has a system that will keep track of that and give you that for the end of the year of your taxes. But then you're, you could potentially be filling out a lot of different paperwork. But with the ETFs, those, there's a lot of different advantages here. So as you can, you can read here, uh, they're more tax efficient and the IRS views them differently than they, they do an individual investor. So you will only have to pay taxes on your capital gains when you sell uh, portions of your ETFs. So if you're if you are investing over the long run then it's not necessary to uh, sell a lot of it, right? You're just buying and holding on to it and you're, you're going to get uh, you're going to get money from dividends that you claim on your year, but M1 Finance takes care of that and uh, and gives you an overall total at the end of the year, which is much easier than keeping track of individual sales and, and taking a look at all, all of that. And uh, therefore, you have some tax advantages for, for having an ETF over buying individual stocks. So ETFs, you, they have a pretty good return, and, and I'll go... Here, we'll go here to the, the portfolio and overall and take a look at what type of returns. And this is really what I would have expected. My individual dividend picks, the, the stocks that I like as dividend growing stocks, you can obviously do a better job at, uh, at picking and making money if you spend the time to do it. Now, a lot of people don't want to spend that time, so that's why they would choose the ETFs. And you see that comes in in my portfolio anyway, and in my experience a lot of times, a close second to what I can actually pick myself. Now, I consider myself an individual dividend picker, so that that's maybe a little bit unfair in that uh, any, a person that was actually a growth investor could, pro could possibly do better than I am. But as, as far as this goes, it's a close second to pr pretty much anything you're going to be able to, uh, doing yourself. So, with a 9.52% gain over this period of time, that, that's it's not bad when I, my individual picks have only done 13.51%. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that's probably done better than, than that, and I'm not spending a lot of time, don't have a lot of money on this. So... There you are. That you can see that um, with the ETS being in a close second, that is pretty appealing for some something that you just invest into and forget it. It's it's a good way to go about your life if you're not in super into investing, but you want to have your money working for you. Um, th those are 
pretty much the reasons that, that I can see that uh, people would choose to invest in ETFs. And I'm sure there's a few others. And if you, you can think of some, put them in the description or in the uh, uh, comment section below here. So we've got easy entry. You can get into it. You can buy it. You're diversified. Uh, you set it and forget it. Somebody manages it for, for you. So they're buying those individual stocks and selling them for you. You don't have to worry about it. And you, you pay the small uh, fees here, and that's, which are represented right here, the expense ratio. The, the uh, manager will take his money out of that expense ratio, and that's why you have an expense ratio. So yeah, you, you get a little bit less than, than you would on, on, um, on your individual picks, or if you were managing it, but you don't have the headache of trying to pick it and follow it and tax uh, problems and it's really easy it's something anybody can do and uh, that's what we that's what we have for today's video folks that's why you might choose an ETF over doing the work yourself if you're a busy person you like doing other things don't really want to be involved too much in it ETFs are not a bad way to go and I want to thank everybody for watching these videos and as you can see the format has changed and hopefully you guys like this format and I'd like to get some feedback on it but uh, I'm trying to uh, step up the video process and make it a little bit better looking hopefully my speech will get better over time I'll get a little more comfortable on the, on the microphone here and we'll do great things but if you did like the video if you got something out of it please uh, hit the like button that does help with the algorithms it, it helps us get noticed and hopefully we can help other people and like I said overall I'll be uh, putting this or improving over time hopefully and uh, you can see this account grow or fail if it does either way it could be fun <laughs> but uh, if you want to uh, get notifications go ahead and hit the bell subscribe and let other people know about it if you if you can thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week